On the surface, the players on the University of Illinois women's basketball team seem to be thrilled to be playing. Come here, you're talking about I'm really, really proud of But these players and their parents tell CNN a far different and far more disturbing story. In all, eight women we spoke to confirmed the details to CNN, but wanted their parents to do the talking. We expected toughness, but this is not what our children got at the University of Illinois. It wasn't toughness, it was madness. Now on right wing, it's Carter, dribbles baseline, peels back. The players and their parents say the girls were divided for practice, with one group, predominantly black, treated much worse and criticized for their culture. Belittled, not because of poor play, but with attacks on their character that the parents say were racist. Do you believe the insults were motivated by race? Uh, yes, I do. Do you believe, Tina, that there was racism on this team? Yes. I know it made my daughter feel very uncomfortable. Several players told CNN the secondary team was called the dog pound. She was humiliated, she was yelled at, and she was always degraded. Off camera, one player, Amara Coleman, recalled comments like, you know how black people play. Others say the predominantly black group was accused of being toxic and poison to the mostly white starters. When that line is crossed into abuse, that I wouldn't stand by, thank God my daughters aren't married at this point, and, and allow them to be in an abusive relationship if they were married. It's the same thing in a coaching relationship. Mike Thomas is the University of Illinois athletic director. It absolutely concerns me. That's uh, problematic to me. School officials say they investigated the complaints and found no merit to them. But after CNN started asking questions, the school says it is taking a second look. Two law firms are now investigating misconduct, and the assistant coach on the women's basketball team, Mike DeVilbis, has left the school by mutual consent, according to the athletic director. The players say DeVilbis was at the center of much of the bullying. You know, she gave uh, her teammate, you know, really high five. Her teammate was doing really good in the game, made a, a layup or what have you. And he said, oh, the only reason you did that was because she was black. The parents say they expected tough coaching, but not this. Are you satisfied with the fact that DeVilbis is simply just not there anymore? Is that enough? For me, it's not. No, because you can't trust that the culture will change for the next girl in line. And the atmosphere wasn't confined just to the women's basketball team. Seven former football players tell CNN they too experienced harassment, bullying, forcing them to play injured, and two allegations of physical attacks by head coach Tim Beckman. On both teams, players say coaches constantly threatened to take away scholarships against university policy. The fact that this was alleged to have happened on two different teams, does that bother you in a bigger sense that it wasn't just an isolated incident? Well, that's certainly troubling. Uh, and for me, the primary concern and importance is getting to the truth so we can determine what the next steps are. Summer workouts for the teams are just around the corner, but the head women's coach Matt Bolant and football coach Tim Beckman are still leading their teams. Through the university, both declined to comment. Now that lawsuit is asking for $10 million in damages, among other things. It claims the coaches on the women's basketball team segregated the players by race by for some road games and that coaches said that the black players were, quote, undisciplined West Side ghetto streetball players. School officials say they are, quote, disappointed that the suit was filed before the second internal investigation was complete. Hmm. Jake? Sarah, there are also claims, I understand, of medical mistreatment? Exactly. Players on three different teams of, at Illinois have made allegations about injuries that weren't handled properly. A woman on the soccer team sued, said her concussion was mishandled. Three former football players say they were pressured to play with injuries. One said, one told me he would limp down the field, Jake. And on the women's basketball team, one woman says that she was told to play with a strained foot and it turned into a break. The university has hired a law firm to investigate those claims separately. Mm.